Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at DC McFarlane's Robin from Gotham Knights the game. I really really do enjoy this figure guys. The texture on this guy is amazing. On his jacket, on his clothes. The again, I love the addition that McFarlane always does put it in a card. I think that's freaking awesome. Let me go ahead and move that out the way. Um, so you guys can see the texture. The green and the red. Really, really well done. See the pattern there on the jacket with the black and silver. The yellow. Man, this guy is awesome. His little bow staff is cool. Detail right there on the jacket. Look at that. This guy was well done and I picked this guy up on GameStop. And I actually used um, a coupon. So this guy was only $15, guys. Let me go ahead and turn this rotator on so you guys can take a look at the back. There he is with my... um stand my custom stands i really enjoy these stands way more than your standard ones that the um they draw in with dc figures however um he did come with a standard dc stand um you can see the hood is actually done well i wish you can put it over his um over him but it's all good um see the pattern on his cape I like that it's um, two-piece, so you can lift up the cape. It's really, really, really nice. The staff has this, like, two-tone going on, this, like, darkish green. Then you get the black and the yellow. His gauntlet looks phenomenal. The gauntlet's right there, green, looking great. Guys, this is definitely a pickup if you're a Batman and Robin fan. I personally always been a Robin fan as well. You know, I like Batman, but I also like the additions of Robins that they do. So, this guy, to me, was a no-brainer to pick up. And, I like I said, he goes for cheap. You know, some McFarlane figures do actually go for cheap, even at the reseller market. So, I'm pretty sure you, could got, you guys can pick him up for fairly cheap, you know. And... He's a definitely a good pickup for your collection if you don't have a Robin. Uh, if you're like me, this is my first Robin owned by McFarlane DC. And actually the only one, I do have a Red Hood, which I'll be reviewing. But this is my only like Robin at the moment. I'm looking forward to getting more, just not right now. Let me go ahead and show you guys. This is how I usually pose my... um. McFarlane figures I like to throw in the card because again I enjoy this feature I enjoy that he actually throws in a collectible card with um with every figure that you get at least from the DC universe gives you a little bio and like I said it can be a collector's item as well because these cards are exclusive only to the figure it's got like that matrix, matrix style going on. So I really enjoy this figure, guys. If you guys want to see how he looks next to Batman, you can go ahead and pause the video and show you that. Just give me one quick second. All right, guys, here he is next to your Batman from the Batman movie, which this figure looks amazing as well. But there they go. I'll go ahead and push him back here a little bit so you guys can see man that that right there just looks awesome guys um i am looking forward into getting the penguin guys so stay tuned for that as well i'm hoping i can get my hands on the penguin um i really enjoy what mcfarland dc does when he does his figure i just don't like that he gives us so many batmans and so many supermans like I like having additional figures like the Penguin. Um, I hope he throws out a Two-Face. I hope he throws out 
Uh, who else is out there? He already did Bane. I'm trying to get my hands on that figure as well, guys. So, just stay tuned for that. I just don't have a lot of McFarlane DC figures yet. Just a few. But I will be getting more and I'll be reviewing the ones that I currently do have. So, stay tuned for those um videos, guys. And again, excellent detail. Very well done. And if you don't have a Robin and debating on getting this guy, I think is a is definitely a pickup. If you collect um Batman action figures, I think he's definitely a pickup, guys. So just let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And again to the subscribers, as always, thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for viewing and I hope this video was helpful in in making up your minds, guys. Alright? I'll see you next time, guys. Have a great one.